Welcome to 411carline.com. You can find us at 411carline.com. On our website, you'll find pricing information, vehicle information, vehicle photos, as well as the free Carfax. Click the Carfax Advantage dealer icon to view the free Carfax. 952-540-9000 is our phone number. Give us a call to ask any questions or to set up an appointment. We are by appointment only, so please do call in advance. We appreciate that during our business hours. All of our vehicles go to third party shops for inspections, safety mechanical and road test inspections are performed. We do whatever safety mechanical maintenance repairs the shop recommends we bring it to you. You're welcome to have it inspected prior to buying it as well. Just ask us about our policy on that. Lastly, aftermarket warranties are available on all vehicles, no matter the year, make, model, or miles. Ask us about those or it'll be stapled to the Carfax when you come in. We just got this 2009 Toyota Sienna in. It is from the East Coast, but it's pretty clean. It's got really nice miles, 114K, which if you're familiar with this 3.5 liter platform, um, these are easily three, 400,000 mile vehicles with proper maintenance. So this one overall is in pretty decent shape. Front bumper does have some imperfections. Uh, that's to be expected with a minivan especially and how big this uh, bumper is on these. Um, the hood's in pretty good shape. I don't see a ton. Of, there's a couple little rock chips here and there, but nothing too major. Headlights are in beautiful condition on this one. This fender appears to be in pretty good shape. There's a couple little scuffs like down low here um, that apparently didn't buff out. So kind of hard to see because it's silver, but uh, it's got Continental True Contact all season tires. They have good tread depth yet. Uh, wheels are all in decent shape. They do have a little bit of the spider webbing that uh, this generation of Toyota wheels gets. It just gets something gets under the clear coat and makes that little spider web stuff. Uh, this door is in decent shape. It does have some little minor nicks and that sort of thing. This one does have the roof rack with the cross rails. It has the moonroof as well. And this wheel is in pretty decent shape as well. Another look at the tread depth on the tire. Quarter's in pretty good shape. Detail shop missed some uh, wax there. Um, rear gate's in really nice shape. Back bumper's in really nice shape. This quarter's in good condition as well. This actually looks like it has PPF on it. Might paint protection film. Um, this wheel is same thing. It's got a little bit of the standard Toyota bubbling so good tread depth on the tire there stores pretty clean so is this one and this fender is in pretty good shape as well it does have PPF on it paint protection film on the front bumper and rear bumper it looks like you can see the little edge of the clear shield there I'll show you the underside here I buy these based on underside photos. This one looked relatively good for the year and the miles. Uh, floor was pretty clean. Rockers were clean. The pinches are pretty clean. So looked to be in pretty good shape. Interior's in nice shape. I would say this is a non-smoker vehicle. I would assume no pets either. I haven't seen any pet hair or anything. So um, dash is all in good shape. Leather's in good condition on this one as well. Um, carpet's in decent condition. You get a little bit of wear here and there on uh, minivan carpet. This one does have the uh, two captain's chairs here and then the center console there. We'll have to go flip up the stow and go seats that are back there. These seats, of course, do flip forward and they are removable as well. So this one does have the DVD player. It is confirmed working. I forgot to bring the DVD with me, but... Um, but it's in the photos on our website. If you check there, the, that definitely does work. It's got rear climate control up there as well. I must have the power door off. This one does have a power rear gate. And that has power slider on that side, not on that side. So, you can see plenty of space for storage and stuff down here. Uh, also has the back seats in really nice shape. So this one's a seven passenger, of course. You just close that a little bit, the rear gate closes. 
Show you into the backside here. Not a whole lot to see back here, but again, relatively clean for the year in the miles. And being an East Coast car. Just gonna flip this seat up real quick. Oop, just gonna set the phone down, sorry. I do not edit these videos or anything, so what you see is what you get. The uh, seats are all in nice shape. As I mentioned, back seat's in good condition on this one. Power door button here. Driver door panel's in nice shape. Driver's seat is in really good condition. Hop in here, we'll start it up. This one does say it has, it has one of two, so it must have two keys. Some AC going. It's a little warm today. 114, 187 for miles on, or excuse me, 114, 847 for miles on this one. No lights on the dash other than the seat belly because I'm not wearing it. Uh, oil's good to go. It's been fully inspected at a third party shop. Again, dash is in good shape on this one. Um, it does have uh, power windows, power locks, keyless entry, power mirrors. Cool. So it does have a navigation head unit uh, with backup camera. Also has JVL audio system, dual automatic climate control. You can control both zones, the AC and the heat, heat of other seats. Um, if you want to sync this and just have one temperature, you can uh, change it all at the same time. Or if you want to do your rear on or off, rear temp, you can change here. Uh, this one does have a 110 volt outlet. I think it's in the back if I remember right on these. I can't see if there's a, oh yeah, there's an, there is an owner's manual in there. Um, it's got this floor center console, so. This one's got pretty good service history. Plenty of service records on the Carfax as well. So on the overhead console here, you have outside temperature, uh, direction, as well as universal garage door opener, home link right here. Um, and then you can operate the power doors and the rear gate from here as well. So moonroof operates as it should. We'll hop out, take a look under the hood here. Hood release is right down here. You just pull that towards you. My phone does pick up small engine valve train noise. Sometimes it sounds a little more, more noisy on here than it would in person, but it's pretty clean underneath here. Pretty clean underneath the hood as well. That's the 2009 Toyota Sienna. If you have any questions, feel free to visit our website, 411carline.com, or give us a call, 952-540-9000. Thanks for your time today. Have a great day.